Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Benz haul. We have what Kathy found at the Benz on a snow day. It is Thursday. The kids are home from school. Um, I think they were expecting a lot more snow, but <laughs> it was kind of a lot. Yeah. This is a legitimate snow day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, we've already been out. I did yeah. get the, the essentials. Got a coffee. <laughs> yeah. Which thank you. <laughs> I wanted to thank, uh, Art to Rocks bought us a coffee. He said the spreadsheet is quite helpful. Thanks a lot. So awesome. Thank you. thank you so much for supporting us by buying Kathy's dangerous coffee today. <laughs> Actually, the roads were not bad at I all. I didn't go out with him, so. <laughs> the roads were just fine. So thank you so much for the support. But yeah. uh, Reese's ready to see what yeah. what mommy got at the bins, yeah. huh? Let's see on my calendar. So like we're right here. But um, yeah, next two weeks are spring break. So to, like the snow is probably going to all melt by today, but I'm sure we have a yeah. snow day tomorrow too. So basically. Yeah, this is what our school district does. They... they, they <laughs> <laughs> There should be school tomorrow, but I'm betting that yeah. there, it does call for some more snow uh, today, but I don't know. Even if it doesn't snow, I bet they're gonna call off school Just for tomorrow. Cause then yeah, it's gonna be spring break. And then they're off the first <laughs> and, and second, the Monday. I think, I think yeah. just the first, but yeah. So yep. we got about 20 days <laughs> to have fun, <laughs> which yep. I have a lot of fins, not only this up, here, but I've already showed you guys a lot of stuff that I have not listed, so I got two weeks to be here. You've kind of been stocking up a little bit, yeah. I mean, you'll be able to go to the bins a little bit on spring break, Maybe. but <laughs> I don't know if I should, though. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I got a lot of shoes this day, okay. Let's start with this, whatever this random stuff is. Start with the big lots bag. <laughs> I think I listed a few of these already. Let's just dump it. That's okay. <laughs> Lots of plush. Yeah. Um, this day there was like just a random bin of like, I see my household Home goods? products yeah. that weren't like used. So I got these. I don't know. I mean, we, we would probably use this. Some microfiber sponge cloth some and some foil. foil. Is this like some trash bags or something? Custom fit. I don't know if these okay. would work for our trash cans. So, yeah, those might be specialty enough to try to sell those. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, we didn't, I'm running out of my black bins because I have a lot yeah. to be stored in them that I do need to get this thing to sell. I don't so know we've how got I'm sorting today. Let's make this my bag of keep things for keep. myself. Yeah, so we've got the three bins going to buy, sell, trade, uh, get stores, stuff like that. Tissues. Always use tissues. Uh, I've been needing a stapler, and I know this is, uh, we just don't have a stapler, so I found one and I got it. Uh, Running joke, got a frisbee for Saga. <laughs> There's probably 14 out there. Yeah, just randomly. all under the snow. <laughs> um, this, so I normally, I know I got these in like five of them that one day. I normally wouldn't probably just pick up one, but you remember I got that green one new with tag in the last haul? Yeah. Well, I went to list that and it, even though it was new with tag, it had like a stain on it that I missed. So I'm gonna take the tag off and wash it. But now I'm just gonna try to collect a few more to list them as a lot versus, okay. cause these are only probably worth a couple bucks on their own. Yeah. But maybe if I can get four or five, get 20 bucks. So. They're not the older ones or anything, right? They're no. kind of newer remade. Yeah. yeah. Um, I always pick up new tag socks. So I don't know if I'll list or keep these. I mean, the tag's taken off, but they still have this on them. Mm. Little um, Chuck Skellington. Yeah. I've never seen Nightmare it. Nightmare before never seen Christmas. It. <laughs> um, I don't know, so I might list those, but. And then these, I was showing Chris them, but it seemed like they're new, but I don't know. So yeah. I'm too scared to like list them. You can't really use, at least on eBay, you cannot list pre-owned like socks, underwear, mm -hmm. things like that. So like it's torn. It makes me think someone like either at least tried them on. Anyways, we're probably just going to keep these. I'll wear them yeah. or Chris maybe. We do have but, suspicions that they are not yeah. brand new. Yeah, so. I mean, they're pretty good, but they kind of look like they've at least Warm been on some feet. So. Yeah. But yeah, smart wool socks at the bins. These would probably sell for 15 to 20 bucks, just one pair. So that was a cool find. Yeah. Um, this is just one of those like boutique-y like CC beanies, which I would just pick these up anyways to sell for a few bucks. But I, when I was at Plato's the other day, I got Chris a couple hats. I was just looking at hats and they had some of these. So maybe mm. they would take them out Plato's. I don't know. Okay. They might not write at this time of year, but I'm gonna put it in the bin. See if they take it. Otherwise I can list it for like 10 bucks. This is cute just because it's chocolate lab, right? 
I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I list. I, well, I listed it as a chocolate lab. So I always. It looks enough lab. like yeah. a chocolate lab. <laughs> um. So that's super cute. I'm gonna list that on my. Well, I did already list that on my own. I think I listed this at twenty. There wasn't very many listed. So. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't know what my bins are yet. <laughs> These are for me. Just another new tag. Socks. Love socks. Uh, this is Polo Ralph Lauren, like a big pony hat. I actually, I mean, this is kind of faded and probably a little dirty, but I sold one of these. They sold in like a day for worst condition, I think. It's still sold for like 18 bucks. So this is probably 15 to 20 at least. Okay. So I'll list that. Uh, Columbia, just like a little ear warmer thing. I listed this, I think around 10 bucks. I listed this Oakley case. Sunglasses so, yeah, case? Yeah, sunglass case for, I think, like, nine bucks. Okay. Yeah, I found a hard shell one. I don't know if we did a haul that day, but I find these all the time. <laughs> yeah, and, and they, sub, they sell decent. Yeah. If they're in good shape and they're, like, a nice name brand. Yeah. I don't know what these are, but they were so cute, and I found a bunch of them, so I just got them. Yeah, these are interesting. <laughs> so they go okay. by We Bear Village. From Gans. And they're they're bears, but they're like dressed up in little costumes. <laughs> like this one's dressed up like a zebra. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I mean, I quickly looked up comps. Like all these together are probably like half a pound, so like a dollar. But yeah, you know, they're obviously worth more than that. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm just gonna put them together and do like I don't know how much. I, I did see some in a big lot sell for a good amount, but like I don't know if those had special characters or what. So yeah, I might quickly just look up a few, a couple, and see if maybe one's special. If not, probably just lot those. But I don't know for how yeah. much. Yeah. Let me know if you've ever heard of these. I assume they were a collectible thing at one point, but I could see them being like a good, uh, like a teacher decoration for Halloween time. Yeah, super cute. Yeah. Uh, just for the kids, some little Minecraft plushies. Yep. It's like every time I know. you always get the Minecraft plush. And then I they like, almost have every single creature and then in I that show game. Them and then I'm like, don't touch it till I wash it. <laughs> then I take forever to wash it. So. Uh, this is Boys Bears, which I generally wouldn't pick up. Like, there's a lot of Boys Bear stuff at mm -hmm. the men's, but this isn't an ornament. But like one time, Kristen, a real squirrel, gave me an ornament, one from the bins, and that sold like instantly like yeah. literally instantly for like 20 bucks and i'm pretty sure it was worth a lot more i just didn't realize right um this is not an ornament but it's like a mini so i don't know i just got it yeah i don't know that what it's worth i did not list it yet but little so yeah be on the lookout for boyd's bears christmas ornaments, ornaments. Yeah. but the actual bears there's yeah a million of those listed and not necessarily selling for much uh this is wild republic just like a new attack seal seal mount yeah. yeah harbor seal I think this has an $18 price. I think I listed it at like $15 maybe. Okay. Um, little Great Wolf Lodge. Okay. The Builder Bear, I think that they have like on site. Mm. It only says $15 on here. It looks so. like a little small to be a Builder Bear. Yeah, it's like, well, it's like, you know how the, the Builder Bear that they have at the, at the Great Wolf Lodge? I feel like they have like smaller. Okay. Anyways, I think I just listed this at about $15, so. Okay. And then this was a Carter's Pledge. Pledge. I always say Pledge. <laughs> Plutch. It's a um, plutchy. <laughs> so dragon. Yeah, and I like quickly. I didn't look up comp, but like I did a Google lens, and like the ones popping up were thirty. So I was like, oh, I get thirty bucks. Oh. Which uh, there are some new ones sold for that, but this is pretty old. So I think I listed this at fifteen, which is still really good for a Carter's plush. It probably didn't even cost that much new. It might have cost ten to fifteen, but yeah. Sometimes people just like these ones. It becomes their kid's favorite animal, and they're yeah. always looking for a backup or when they lose it. So. It's a cool green dragon. Yeah, I liked that. Uh, this is a, a doggy toy, so I do like picking up the doggy <laughs> toys. Um, it's lamb chop. Yeah, it's lamb chop. So With it's not new, though. It looks like it's like an old Reindeer event, Christmas so. one. I will. Oh, actually, I have that. What was it? The Rudolph from the last time, maybe? That was a new attack dog toy plush. I was going to put that with the bark box, but it wasn't bark box, so I mm. didn't, and it was Christmas themed, and the rest weren't, so maybe I'll put this with Maybe lot them up. Christmas, so. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> and none for you. Poor Reese. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does not really play with toys, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Unless you're there actively playing with him. Unless it's like a Kong that has like peanut butter in there or something, yeah. maybe. Um, this is like a little 
toddler, I think, size, like girl fox racing, chess well, motocross pack. Yeah, everything fox racing, even kids, it just always sells really fast. So yeah. I don't know what this will go for. I did not look up a comp, but I imagine probably at least 20 bucks. So, okay. Yeah. I will list that. And it looks like it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Yeah. So. Um, Another. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Okay. Yeah. That's the Minecraft character. Yeah. And then this, I could just tell it was real leather. It's not an amazing shape, but I mean, a real leather purse at the bins. What was the brand? Oh, you told me, but I forgot. Oh, I don't remember. I had to look it up. Osgood something. Yeah. I'll put it up here on the remember, screen. Yeah. I mean, some comps on this brand were good. I don't think the sell through was great, but I just got it. Like, this is probably around a pound or so, so I'm probably paying about $2 for this. Yeah. I'm sure I can get at least 20, you know, some are going probably for a hundred, but that's like newer and better bags. So I don't know. I just like, I don't actually like selling purses, but I do like selling leather things. Yeah, so. leather things. All right, let's get some dust. Um, this is some more random stuff. I got this, like a Bass Pro. These only like be for like 23 or 24 bucks, but. It's in really good shape, like it honestly doesn't really look used. Yeah. And I did list this already and I had a watcher like right away, so I hope I can get like 15, which you know I sell the kids ones for like that much, and this is an adult size. So. Yeah. That's cool. Um, some random I did find this bag there, which the bag is LL Bean. So I'm gonna sell the bag on its own. I need to wash it. Yeah, it does look pretty grody. Um, but I feel like L.O. Bean tote bags do pretty well. There's like one specifically. I don't know if you'll have time to like maybe just quickly search comp high to low. Like there's like an L.O. Bean bag that sells for a lot of money. Okay. Um, there's something in here. I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, I got this uh, like Roots Canada. Whistler Roots. Yeah, I don't know what the, the whist, whist, Whistler means, but um, you know the Roots Canada. Right? I've yeah, seen okay. bumper stickers. Okay. I've seen, is I've it a place some, in like, Canada? Sweaters and I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I just know it's a brand <laughs> that sounds pretty good. So yeah. I've sold some sweaters and like hoodies for 30 to 50. So this beanie is probably like 15. Mm. I think it's kid size. This, I had no idea, but again, I like selling leather goods. So mm -hmm. it's like ADA collection. Okay. Um, and it says here, 30 ways to style your belt. So, and it is real leather. And then I looked up comps on this, and I i mean, some were selling for like 50 plus, so I don't know. <laughs> but like, this could be something really cool. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a boho belt. Kind <laughs> I showed of thing. Chris it, and he was like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's like a hippie uh, headband. <laughs> Which it could be. It definitely could yeah. be. I haven't looked up what people style it like, but that's kind of cool. Hopefully that sells. Yeah. Uh, Victoria's Secret pink little fanny pack. Just easy, hard, good to list. I think I already listed this like maybe 10 bucks, nine or 10 bucks. So. Okay. And then this was just, I got it because it was new. It looks like it's one of those, like maybe heat. Yeah. Aromatherapy, cool relief. You microwave it kind of thing? Yeah. So just for a little comfort for yeah. kiddos. I think I listed this at 20. I think these retail for like 25. So. Um, yeah, so these, so I don't know that? that these are worth anything, but uh, I've seen them get thrown back by the worker at the end of the day when someone like ditched their cart. I feel like I need somewhere to put these. Is there like a little anything? Like a... I don't know, just... <laughs> maybe that's it. Yeah, give me the last kit. <laughs> All right, so after. So they're just um, <laughs> like the little oh. mini... You know what I mean? Look at that, mini bop it. Have you seen these? A mini brand, I think they're called. I've seen them. I didn't know that I've they seen had them like in food. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know they had like toys and stuff. Right. So I don't know that these are worth a lot, but I thought they were cool. I figured I could lot them up. So, and then all these are probably less than a pound, you know. <laughs> cool. Mini action figures. Um, these are cool, right? R two D two. Darth Vader. <laughs> what are those? I don't know what those are. Some kind of Star Wars. So. Yeah. Look at that, a stitch. Like what if I could get like a buck each? That's like at least 20 bucks. That is cool. And they were just all thrown together in one. Yeah, like someone had them in their car, they left for the day. You know, like at, they close at eight, around seven, they start yelling. Is this anyone's car? And yeah. Nobody says yes, they just throw whatever. Throw it back. back. Baby, you have to give that to Sai. That's a frisbee. <laughs> frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, so that'll be funny. Uh, Got you a new frisbee. Alright, so those are those. Yeah, I'll list this after I wash it. Alright, um, let's do this random stuff with the baby shoes. Ah, uh, this, because it's new. Uh, linens are 49 cents a pound, so this yeah. is probably like $1.50 or so. I don't know, just like a heated throw. Oh, it's heated. Yeah, I figured this might be good for the schoolie whenever. Yeah. When we get going. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Can you wash heated blankets? I don't, I don't know if the thing comes out. Yeah. You know, I mean, we could steam it. But. Yeah. Uh, this I got because it was new. I don't. I did not look up a comp, so I don't know if I'll list it or maybe put it in the Once Upon a Child bin. But Disney Princess. If it's team. worth at least maybe like ten plus ship, I'd probably list it. But I gotta check on that. It's like a hair in there. All right. This I did list. I don't know if you ever saw this when you were a kid. I mean, you're a boy, so you might not have. I feel like it, it's familiar. I, I don't know what yes. it is. That's so from 1999, so you were 12. 10, yeah, yeah. Which this would have been like the girls your age would have been probably playing with this. Um, I didn't really hang out with girls my age <laughs> no. at that. time. <laughs> or girls at all. <laughs> at 12, you did not have girls. <laughs> Let's see, what grade is that? That's like middle school. Middle school? Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this I saw, there's only like one or two listed, but one or two sold. So I seen it sold one for 40. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, she did not let me get this as a game, though. It's the it's the mean lady. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's one girl at the bins that just does not let you like it. She's like, no, that doesn't count. Which what I is, is it not a game? It's though? technically well, the game thing is like puzzles and board games. No, I know it, the game is puzzles. And, like okay, the bins is rule. Like some of the employees will let it go. Okay. So. Anyways, I just paid whatever weight it is, probably like two pounds. So it might have been like three dollars, but still worth it. Yeah. So that was cool. I did put in my listing. I don't know if it works, even though it's new, because it's old. Like yeah, I, it's, if it's batteries included, they're probably yeah. corroded. I mean, that's to be expected. It's, I would batteries hope batteries required, not included. So oh, okay, it works. But. I would hope that whoever bought it is just gonna keep it yeah. like that. Like that's. It seems kind of like if it was only worth a little, it, I think this would have been fun to play like on our live, just yeah. as grown ups. So <laughs> forty bucks, I will. I listed that. And then I always get the sealed puzzles. So nice. well, wish I found that a few months ago, but little Christmas. Yeah, manger Bethlehem. scene. Is it? Yeah, Miracle in Bethlehem. Uh, so yeah, I think I listed this at like 15. Uh, I got this because it was cats. There was so many like mugs this day. I had a few in my cart, but I'm like, I do not love listing mugs. <laughs> uh, this was the brand. I don't necessarily know it, but. The Noon. And this said, yeah, fine bone china made in England. Like, it, it seems like a nice cup. So, yeah. and with the cats, I was like, yeah. I think I looked up comps on this, and I think I can, might get, like, $15. So, I'm going to wash it. But okay. I thought it was cool. Somebody would want a cat mug, for sure. Yeah. Some people like cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Martha Stewart, like, a pillowcase. Okay. Just a... Uh, which I don't know if this like came as part of a set because the retail and it's 120 oh just for a pillowcase. Gosh. I thought Martha Stewart was like sold at Walmart, so I don't know. It's one sham, and it's polyester. It's not even like a good material. Yeah, it's one sham, and it's not even a good material. Did she like embroider it herself? Like <laughs> she's <what>? right <laughs> from prison. I did already <laughs> list this. I think I listed this at 30, so we'll see. Okay. There's like a little dust thing that's bothering me. I'll have to get that. <laughs> um. This is a bop. This did have the boppy in it, but I just got the cover. Okay. Just because I, yeah, I didn't want to deal with the pillow. This is easy to ship now without the pillow. So just a boppy cover. I need to wash it, but. Have they been recalled yet? Boppies? I don't know. I feel like every, like. <laughs> I don't think they're. Every couple years, every child, like baby product yeah. just gets recalled for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really checked the baby departments <laughs> recently, but I thought that was cute. I can yeah. buy it around 10 bucks for the, just a the cover. It's a nice pattern. Um, this, I guess, last time I got a candle, I was like, oh, she only charged me a dollar. I guess that's just what they charge for candles. Because I said, how much is it? Or what do you do for a candle? Because they are pretty heavy. Yeah. She said they're just a dollar. A dollar each? That's that's a good deal. Yeah. So, yeah, this one's new. How much is that new? Does it say? Uh, uh, it's not like a okay. or anything, but... Um, this said I paid one twenty two oh one. 
I can't remember. So we're going to do another haul right after this. Like I went two days in a row. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if this day I checked out two times. Because I thought I spent around like 160. Because okay. I remember I put like, yeah, I think I put two bags of shoes in my car at one point. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if another receipt pops up. Because sometimes when they're like on a break, you'll go and get a coffee. Yeah. And, and like sometimes I just need more space in my car. <laughs> so yeah. if the line's not long, I'll just check out. This, I think we're just going to keep. Um, with nice the fall collection. pillow. Yeah, it's uh, Debbie Designs. I don't know if I know that right. I feel like I found a couple pills of it at the bins recently, okay. which is really pretty. It's got some beading. Yeah. And, like twine. Embroidery. That's so, cool. I like it. And then this little Moses basket. I just Sweet. have always liked these. I just think they look nice. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have a use for it. Like these sell pretty well. That's why I grabbed mm. it. And it doesn't, it hardly weighs anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I did look up. I don't know that I'll, I mean, this would be a hard thing to ship. So it'd mm -hmm. probably be like a local pick sale. I might be able to get like 40 or 50 bucks for this though. Like it's really nice. Yeah. So we'll see. That is cool. I mean, you don't see a use that we could use it for at our house. Right? I mean, yeah, other than like a decoration, yeah, they're like. It's just like cute for like a baby, newborn photo shoot. Yeah, shoot photo shoot. That's yeah. what I'm kind of thinking, selling to like a photographer locally. Give me a good deal. So, yeah. All right, let's do shoes and then clothes last. Let's do it. Okay. Cool. Um, these are Madden Girl. Thank you. Which I would not normally pick up this brand like at the normal thrift just because it's very cheap like materials. Mm. But these are in good shape. They are a little heavy, but at the bins I pretty much buy any shoes in good shape. Somebody actually gave me these at the end of the day. She's like, do you want these? She saw I had a bunch of shoes. I was like, oh, thanks. So I did grab them. I think I listed these at 30. Okay. So we'll see. Um, I like blowfish, especially when they're in really good shape. These will probably sell around 20. Not listed these. What are they? This is not a brand I would normally pick up. Kelsey Dagger. Okay. But it's a sandal. Good shape. Hopefully at least 20 bucks. You bought it for the animal print kind of thing? I just or? bought it because it's a chewy just, good okay. shape. I think yeah. these are real leather, leather upper, which the fur. Okay. I don't know. I might try these on Vice Trade actually first. These are like just the inserts for some kids Columbia. Okay. I couldn't really find comps. I think I listed these at like 10 bucks plus shipping. Um, I was like quickly Googling like to try to see if they sell replacements and how much. Yeah. Which the I did not see any sold on their site. And then I saw like a Reddit that said, I need some. And I reached out to Columbia and they said they don't make or they don't sell replacements. Oh. So hopefully these sell because yeah. maybe someone's just looking for them. But to me, I'm like, they're just kid size. And like you could buy a new pair of boots for like 30 bucks. So why well, pay 10 plus shipping? But somebody probably will. It might I mean, I would. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, those didn't weigh a whole lot, so just something to put in the inventory. Some Echo. I did not list these yet, but I think I'll probably list them around 40 or so. Uh, got some Crocs flip flops. These will probably go around 25 or so. Got some Born. I thought these were pretty beat up, but like, look at the bottoms. They look pretty oh good. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so like, I think when I was looking up comps, I feel like they're kind of meant to be like scuffed yeah. a little, just, they feel like a nice leather. I like the footbed. So I think I actually listed these at 40 because there just wasn't a lot. Some people, I think they'll sell around 30. Okay. Yeah. Had a lot of sandals this day. That's good. Yeah. Since it's... <laughs> spring yeah it's spring break <laughs> still <laughs> still can't get <laughs> yeah it's a nice winter I we're having this spring like a bunch of like uh facebook posts that like this is the like march 13th 14th is like always when we have a big storm for right? colorado yeah. yeah um flow gels so these be careful with flow gels because usually the tag like right here it's right here just on a sticker oh good but generally, a lot of times it's on the bottom and they peel off right away. And, they and then there's like, no size. Oh, wait, this one does have it here, but they oh, don't good. all. So, yeah, just be careful with flojos. But these are probably around 20. Yeah, that's a good thing to look out for either way. Any just make sure really any shoe that you have, there's a couple things you want to check. You want to make sure that there's a left and a right yes. and not two left or two right. You want to make sure they're the same size right. and you want to make sure that the size is visible so that you can portray that to the buyer. You don't want it to be like in question or wrong or anything like that. Right. Those are like the easy mm -hmm. ones that they'll yes. be like, yeah, I want to return. I want to return this. 
Um, and some Skechers, little booty like a Chukka boot, probably 25 or so. Uh, so yeah, speaking of sizes, like I think I've, these are rubber band now, I think because I did that, mm. but like, I think I found both of these and they were like, mis like these are two different sizes. Oh, so they're so, the same? Right. <laughs> they're different sizes, but they were matched differently. Yes. So, so I luckily found them both because I probably would not have checked that. You know, yeah, like, yeah. These were all just in one bin. Yeah. So anyways, I think one's a 10, one's a nine. But yeah, so these are probably 10 or 15. Yeah. I wonder if, if the Goodwill employee was going <laughs> to put those on the floor and like, these are not the same size. <laughs> and then they made their way to the <laughs> bins and then you matched them up. Uh, some kids shoes, Wonder Nation, so Walmart brand. We'll take those to Once Upon a Child. These are INC. I don't really know where that's sold, but they're cute little, they look brand new. So kids for Once Upon a Child. Another pair of the Walmart ones for Once Upon a Child. Got some Nike slides. These will probably go around 20, 15 to 20. More Nike slides. These are the ones I feel like do pretty well, even though they're kind of I don't, I don't necessarily like these, but they usually sell around 25 or so. I do like this brand, Spenco. It sells, it's like an orthotic type flip-flop, so I can usually get 25, sometimes 30 out of those. Got some Ufos. Need a wash, but probably around 30. Cool. Um, need to wash these, but these are like, for once upon a child, like kids. They're cute though, right? They're yeah. just Walmart Wonder Nation, but. I like those. Smiley face with the eyes. <laughs> I noticed this after the fact, so I don't know. So these are aerostatic and they look almost new. Mm -hmm. But like right here on this one, like look look at those like edges. So then I'm like, was well, something there? But like this one doesn't have anything. Mm. I almost thought somebody cut something out of there, but it's yeah, really it almost... just like a defect. Yeah. It's like, I'm wondering if that's where it was like injection molded or something. Right. But then like, that would probably bother someone's foot, right? <laughs> so I don't know if I should even list them. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Hmm. So, I mean, I can mention it. Just, I mean, someone could put like something over it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just list them with that noted, but like only on posh in case they try to return. I don't yeah. have to like- Do you want me to try to trim anything? it up with like an X-Acto knife or Maybe. something? Yeah. Might I mean, do that. These are probably under pounds, so worst case I lost a buck or so. Yeah. So we'll try to make it comfortable and then take a picture of it just to show them, but. Yeah. All right. And I got some banners. Sweet. Yeah, nice camo. I think mean, they're a little dirty, but like the treads are in great shape. And I always like go by the insoles, which seem like they're in really good shape. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> some spider webs. <laughs> Gotta be careful at the bins, guys. <laughs> I did find a Pendleton, like a felt hat uh, a when we were on a date oh. night and it had a spider in it, yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, those will, I actually did look these up and I was not seeing that high of comps at, at least up, like I was hoping these were like 80 bucks. Yeah. But I feel like I was seeing comps around like 50. 40, which 50. Is, which is, because they're from the bins, but right. I was hoping for more. So we'll see. I mean, if I have like the only size 10 and a half, which is a good size, mm -hmm. maybe I can get a little more. That was not all the shoes. This yeah, you get a too. whole hulking of shoes. Um, so we got some Rika snow boots. I think I have a pair of these listed. <laughs> I've been listed all like for a year and I'm not sold, but here, I just bought another pair. So. Yeah. Now <laughs> the other one's going to sell. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> these ones, if I got them at the bins, I can list them a little bit less. So maybe at least 20 probably. It's, yeah. Rank is not a great brand, but... I might actually try these on. They're not uh, just like a cheap of the little short boots. Mm. So, but what's the brand? Morgan Taylor. I don't know what that is. Morgan Taylor. But okay. They're my size. So. Ugg lookalikes. Um, got some Ariat. These are pretty beat up, but I've been doing pretty well with pretty beat up Ariat. Mm. So, yeah. I'm saying beat up as in like they do have heel drag. Yeah. Um, like be I don't care if the leather's like beat up because I feel like people like that, but. I try to like be more mindful of the bottom. So mm. these are probably at least at least 30, probably still 40 to 50. Um, these are LL Bean. They look like an older model, but a little chuck about. Nice. In really good shape. So I love when you're able to find uh -huh. this many shoes at the bench. I bins. know. And like there was a lot of people getting shoes. So yeah. like there was just a lot this day. Um yeah, those are probably 30 or so. 
these are just old navy, but I thought they were in good shape, so I did grab them. They're probably like 10 to 15. Um, these are Ariat also, but like a little women's slip on. So probably 30 okay. or so. Um, these are Earth. So a little purple suede wedge thing. Probably like 20 bucks or something. <laughs> Technical terms. <Yeah. laughs> These are Clark's Artisan. Kind of cute. Like, I don't really like heels, but I could see that somebody might like those. So, yeah. Hopefully, 20 to 30. Uh, so Columbia snow boots. So, like, these are what those liners sort would be of, fitting but in? These ones are, this liner is like Built attached. In. Yeah. yeah. I don't usually see them like that. I don't think hmm. I have any over there, but. But yeah, generally, you know, like Sorrel boots and stuff, you just pull them right yeah. out and in and out. So, um, yeah. I know with kids, they take those boots off and their liners yeah, just, they, just they right disappear. <laughs> like they're gone. So I need to wash these, but probably 25 to 30. Um, these are from Once Upon a Child, a little, I don't know this brand, Tom Bick. Okay. Little dino Dino. These are a solo, which I do love this brand. Um, yeah. So just like Gore-Tex boots. Uh, I think they're Gore-Tex, yeah. Okay. So I found another pair the next day that were... And they're Vibram Soul. No. No. Just a solo soul. Um, yeah, I found another pair the next day that the soles were just too bad, so I left them, but... I find this brand a lot at the bins. They're usually trash. These look like trash, but the soles are fine. Oh, yeah. The yeah. insoles are fine, actually. The insoles are fine, but they're not the originals. They're not super the originals. Feet, which super feet is a good insole. I've sold these insoles alone for like 30 bucks. Well, new, like a new pair. Yeah. But. Look at the, the bottom of it. Show the bottom. It's got like a. I might just. Supportive arch. Say. I might just actually take those out and just say no insoles. Because I feel like super feet, even though they're nice, like not everybody would like that kind yeah. of insole. So anyways, these are probably 40 to 50 in this condition. Hey. These could go for like to 100 if they're a little better. Sweet. Um, got some Sorel Kids snow boots. These are usually in this condition, probably more like 20 in better condition, maybe like 30. 58 plus 122. Okay. 80. Right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like I took one thing out that was eight dollars. I think I already just started using it. It was like like a Costco pack of like white bees. Mm, that's um, right. Like disinfecting white, like almost like Clorox, Clorox wipes, but like Costco brands. Yeah. Yeah, like with that foil and stuff. It yeah. was in that bin and like a brand new with tag box, which at Costco, those are like $16, I think. And it was sealed and I got it for eight. And I had to pay the- Okay, the so you got like a 50% yeah. discount. So out of the 180, I think that's the only thing that I did not keep in here. More shoes. Yeah. These are what? Bear paw? Yeah. So these were ones that they had on the. They're expensive. 30 something? 25. 25? Which is honestly probably all I can maybe get for them on eBay. Yeah. Um, These Uggs? No. These are also just a cheapy brand, but I don't know if I bought these for me to try on too. They are my size. I don't think that these are branded at all, like even like a cheap brand. But they're in good shape. Yeah, I nice. like the buttons. Yeah, I actually have real Uggs that look exactly like this without the buttons, and they're very hard to get on, so the buttons would probably be nice. Yeah. Okay, um, more Flojos. These ones, yeah, the only place they have it is this, which is peeling, but I can still see it, so yeah. I could grab them, but yeah, hopefully 20 on those. Once Upon a Child, these little Oshkosh shoes, and then these little Jimbery shoes. Uh, this is not necessarily a brand I would buy, but they were in good shape. So soft spots. I think they were real leather. No, they're not. Okay. But they're snake pattern. Snake print, yeah. Cap toe. I don't know. Hopefully 15 to 20 on those. Uh, these are for one spawn a child, like little Walmart water shoes. These are Target Cat and Jack for Once Upon a Child. Some Tiva, like little wedge sandal, probably around 20 on those. Um, these are Reef Women's. Where were they? Oh, these ones had the size printed, so. Okay. 
Uh, on the heel bed? Yeah, six, no seven. So probably like 15 on those. These are for once upon a child, little Target sandals. And then more Columbia women's. No, I think these are girls' snow boots. I'll list these probably for around 30. So nice. they have them for 30. I could well. So. Okay. Okay. Tons of shoes. And that was all the shoes. Tons of shoes. And I think the rest is clothes. Well, I got a couple of blankets in. Uh, this one is Opal House, so Target. I just like the color. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty. So. I like those thin, like, yeah. like, yeah. And it's like, we're not going to use them as covers, just like those and just yeah. to look cute. This has to match some pillow I've gotten at the ones at some point, right? <laughs> um, this, um, I will probably list just because we don't really have a theme like this, in, even though I love it in our room. Yeah. It's just like a, almost like reminds me of like somewhere in New Mexico or something. Yeah, yeah. it's like a Southwestern like Santa Fe. Santa Fe. It's got the turquoise. It is this Walmart brand, like Mainstays, but I just thought it was a cute set, so I did grab that. You know, it's not perfect. We could do the guest bedroom in... <laughs> In South, what, what is that? Southwestern? No, I already have something way <laughs> oh, cuter than that. Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, so that's cute. Um, I don't know how much it would sell for. Yeah. Probably 15 bucks for the set, maybe. I don't know. I sold that vintage towel set recently. Well, two towels for like, what, 30 bucks? Close to 30 bucks? I don't remember. Yeah. These are not vintage. They're just <laughs> modern Walmart towels. <laughs> but um, they're then, cute. Yeah. And this is Pioneer one in which... I had a frying pan that looked like this. Yeah, so I washed it. I actually like this one. Just yeah. For an actual warm cover. Yep. So, keep that. And then, yeah, clothes. Is it clothes? Um, these are kid sized girls, REI, so I'll probably take those to Once Upon a Child. Oh, this was cute. Our kids had this when they were little. Little Smokey the Bear, just from Target, but that's for Once Upon a Child. I don't know this brand, but the tag looked nice, so I looked it up, and I did not find much, honestly. But oh, I did second. see that, like, I feel like the Real Real sells it, which the Real Real only sells nice stuff, so. Mm. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to sell it for a whole lot. I mean, I think they're, like, a crop. Like, yeah. they don't seem like they were hemmed, so I think they're just meant to be this length. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, I can't really read the tag. I don't feel like any of it is in English. Like, I can't even tell the... Okay, I can. The pits polyester rayon. I couldn't tell if it was... Like wool? Oh, yeah, like wool blend or something. It's dry clean only. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they're probably at least 20 bucks. Yeah. So, I think I'll have to list those, though, because I doubt my sell trade would take them. Alright. What do we get? Oh, I think I just got these because I wanted to try them on. It's just express. It's like... Almost like a beta brand, like a stretchy kind of mm. pant. And I was like, maybe for church. Um, these are American Eagle mom jean. So hopefully by Soul Trade takes them. I don't know that they love black denim. I also noticed that, you know, like how they put the stickers right here. Oh, yeah. It almost like faded. So I'll probably have to wash that. Hopefully that yeah. fades a little differently. <laughs> hopefully it's so, just like a little residue. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll have to list them for like for not that much. Uh, this is vintage J. Crew, 100% wool sweater, which is just a little dusty. Oops, <laughs> which means I need to wash it, but I don't know if I'll ruin it. Yeah. Other, this is probably 30 if I don't ruin it by mm -hmm. washing it, so I'll list that. I think I just got this to wear like at the gym or something. Hogwarts. Harry Potter shirt. Um, what is this? Banana Republic. I might have wanted to try this on too. Only shopping for myself and then making death piles because none of it fits me <laughs> and then yeah. It's, That's yeah. cute though. I like I like hooded things, so oh, if I have to list that it's probably like fifteen to twenty. This I listed a similar one the other day, Salomon. It's just like a plain Salomon shirt, right? But I was seeing comps. It, yeah, it's dirty. The one I listed I was seeing comps for like 60 bucks because like, I think these are vintage and mm. people just like them. I mean, it's probably <laughs> at least 20, but it might be a lot. Like the one I listed, I listed mine around 60 and it has not sold, but it did get a lot of likes. So, okay, we'll see if I get an offer. 
Uh, this is that Natural Life brand, which I've sold a couple pieces. It's it doesn't it's not like super nice quality, but it seems to sell fast. Like all the pieces I've sold have sold pretty quick. So this is probably at least twenty. I would probably list that on my own. They're like super oversized. Like this is size extra small, but like look how mm. big it looks. So. It looks massive. Yeah. <laughs> you just. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I'm know sizes. Like, is it kids? I'm saying it's an extra small, and I'm holding it up to yeah. myself. So like. I mean, is it a dress or is it just I a shirt? I think it's a dress, but like imagine like. Your sisters are probably like size extra small. Like, imagine them yeah. wearing a dress like that. It would probably just be super flowy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> You're ruining my whole. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I don't know anything about sizes. <laughs> I just don't know. Like to me, I don't really have any oversized things. So like, yeah. I'm just trying to picture what an oversized. I have the I have the opposite problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Landon, like a cute girl's. Um, yeah. Like a throw over your swimsuit type thing. I, when our kids were little, we always had the mini boat in ones of these that I thought were so cute. So I don't know if once upon a child would take a towel. I might put it in there and see, but they take swimwear, but yeah. you know, like a towel is kind of different. All right. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> a tapestry? What yeah, is that? It's cats. Cats? <laughs> cute. That's cute. Cute. I mean, people are going to want You that, sell it right? with your cat mug. <laughs> Someone's definitely going to want that. <laughs> you want the cat history? All right, pardon the interruption. <laughs> Our boy's uh, older brother opened the door and it kind of hit the top of the foot of the younger brother. So, little crisis. <laughs> Snow day crisis. But he's fine. Good. I got this Torchy's Tacos. Torchy's Tacos. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe 10 bucks, 10 15. I don't know. I haven't eaten there since I got food poisoning. <laughs> you got food poisoning. I guarantee I did. I feel like we ate the same thing that day. No, I had pork tacos. You had like shrimp tacos or something. Right. It was some bad pork. I love twitchies, <laughs> but I would never get pork, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are Chico's, like a velvet pant. So I'll probably list these. I like listing Chico's. And then these two. So, okay, Chico's. Um, this is Jordan. I didn't like I was looking for snags because it's like that material. Those oh. are dust, but I didn't really see any snags, at least. I thought you said you were looking for snacks. Yeah. Not the bins. <laughs> I just eat any snacks I find <laughs> I'm not opposed to eating it. It's not expired and it's sealed, but Alright. No snacks in the Jordan. <laughs> I don't know what this would go for, but I got yeah. it. I'll probably list that. That's so it's not Jordan, like Michael Jordan's, because he was on the Bulls, right? What, why is it blue? It's, it's just the brand, brand, right? Yeah, so it's just the Jordan jersey. Gotcha. All right. Um, Jump man. This is Woolrich, just like a full zip sweater. And I'm making more work for myself because these are like the things that are not like buy, sell, trade. It's not going to take these. So I'm, yeah. I like listing Woolrich stuff. It's not even 100% wool, though, so. Probably 20, 25. It's cool looking. Yeah. Uh, this is just Gap, but I like, um, it's like a knit blazer, so. Just like a super lighter weight blazer. Yeah. I don't know. So, um, I take that to Uptown Jeeves Gate, but they're probably not gonna take it. I'll list it like 20 bucks or something. Oh, I just got this hat because it looks like new. Dr. Peppa? <laughs> Dark Berry, have you ever? I've flavor? never even heard of that. Right. So it's a it's a different kind of flavor, huh? It does look like an old tag, but I don't know when that Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. Never oh, heard of it. That? <laughs> Maybe ten bucks. Oh, these were Athleta, but they're not like in amazing shape, but I just like Athleta, so I got them. Maybe fifteen, twenty. Uh, the bicycle trade might take those. We'll see. Okay. I got this because it was a plus size. It's Calvin Klein, which I don't generally pick it up, but I thought it was a pretty like spring floral blouse. So, and a 3X, so really good condition. I can probably get 20 bucks out of this. No, I'll take it. Uptown Cheapskate did say they like plus size, so we'll see. Okay. I think I was gonna try this on myself. Is it, I don't know if it's Nick and Zoe or Nick and Zoe, but it seems okay. like a little, it seems bigger than a small, so we'll see. Um, this is Ariat. 
I think this is women's because ladies left buttons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, um, I would have a hard time buttoning that. Yeah. So, I don't know. A men's button up would be at least 20. I don't know about women's. Hopefully 20. All right. What is this? Oh, I think I just got this because it was sort of new. <laughs> like most of the tags tore off. But it's half new. It's geyser blue. I feel like that's like um one of those subscription boxes or something. Okay. I don't know what it is. But a little light blazer. I thought that'd be cute, like on a cruise or like a little tropical vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Summertime. I don't know. I'm gonna put that in the vice of first though. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself probably some, some more socks. socks. I might. But I don't know. Should I just list these as a bundle? I mean, how many socks do you have? <laughs> Not that many. Okay. Um, these are champion. I don't know if these are men's or women's. Probably men's, like a little swim trunk. Super wrinkled, they are. Lined? Oh, they're fully lined, they don't have, it's not just like the underwear oh, parts. I like that. Yeah. I don't know, Play-Dohs might take those, but I need to wash them and hopefully they unwrinkle a bit. Uh, these are kid size Old Navy, so I'll take those to once upon a child. Um, this I just got, cause it was 100% silk. I don't really know, I mean, a common thread. I've never sold it, but I don't know. I'll take it there first. <laughs> uh, this is wool rich, but 100% wool. So, the, oh. and I like this color and full button. It's nice. So I'll cool. list that probably around 30. Uh, oh, I love, I love this brand. I hardly ever find it. Steel. Steel. Yeah, so similar to like Patagonia, like the outdoorsy brands. They're very expensive new. This is like a women's pant, size two. I don't know that I'll get a ton for these. Maybe like 30, 40 bucks, so. Okay. I will list those on my own though. Uh, this is for once upon a child, just children's place, please. This is from Camille, shout out Camille. She got that Shout out. Me. To take the once upon a child, it's Carter's new like, tag. Um, these I pulled out of some hokas that had rips in the ankles, but the, these looked brand new. Mm -hmm. So, probably 10 bucks out of the insoles. This is Bronze Funny Child. I uh, don't even have like a brand, but it's in good shape. Okay. Um, what's that? Oh, this is Lane Bryant, which I generally pass on, but I thought this was a nice piece. It's like a knit. I don't know. It almost feels like that St. John material. You know what I mean? Like sure. Actually, I, I don't remember. Like this almost, although I don't think it is. Because this is like, what is this? Acetate? Is that how you even say that? Acetate? Oh, that's polyester and spandex. Nylon ram. I don't know. <laughs> you know what St. John is. Those really nice. Well, I don't think they're nice, but they sell. They're nice because they cost so much new and everything. Mm. I don't know how you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm probably gonna list this for 25 to 30. And then this I just got, because it was new. I've never heard of the brand. In fact, Chris had to also figure out what that was for me. Fern something? Fern something, yeah. Yeah. So I don't think that will go for a lot, but I'll list it. Uh, this I just got for size. It does have a little stain on it, but. He can use some stain jackets to wear to school. Yeah. So. Um, these I think are for once one a child. Yeah, Gap Kids Lime Jugger. And lastly, New Attack. Ooh. Garage. I don't know where they sell that. Retail is 44. The brand like is a, Garage? Yeah. It's like a cropped sweater, so I feel like the Bicycle Trade would probably take it. Hopefully, even though it's kind of not really winter anymore. Yeah. Well, it is, but <laughs> they're selling spring. That's so so. That's my $180, let's say $172, because I didn't Tons. show you the Costco. <laughs> yeah. Costco <laughs> Look at all the boots back there. Just Yeah, just a couple pairs of these boots should get me my money back. Yeah. So. Not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. Thank you so much for... I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us while Kathy shared her cool Ben's finds. Uh, <laughs> I just still have being that. <laughs> we appreciate you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye bye.